Let's take a look at Parigasana, Gate Pose, which is a sideways bend that's going to laterally stretch the spine, open the rib cage, freeing up the breath, and it's generally a vitalizing position for the body and the mind. We begin standing on our knees with our knees directly underneath our hip joints. And because we start on the left side, we're going to extend our left leg out to the side. Sorry, I'm used to mirroring. So we want our left foot against the floor. And if the sole of the foot cannot touch the floor, then we can always bend the knee slightly or even flex the foot. Those are some options. Otherwise, sole of the foot on the floor. And we want the left knee and left toes to point directly to the left. If in order to maintain that alignment, we need to rotate this back hip forward a little bit, that's fine. But we might need to also take this lower leg out to the side along with the foot so that we don't twist this bottom knee. Okay. Whether or not your pelvis is rotated to the side, we want the chest to face forward. Left hand can rest on the leg. As we inhale, circle the right arm up and over, exhaling as we stretch our spine sideways over the leg, and also releasing this left inner hip down. We want to avoid collapsing the underside of the ribs here. So keep the spine open so that the breath can be open as well as the energy flow. And you can either look straight ahead or rotate the head to look out and up. We're not trying to look directly up at the hand, which would bring the neck into a jackknife position. And this hand here is just being used for support and stability. We don't want to press down to the knee because that can cause it to hyperextend. Okay, and to exit, we can inhale as we reach back up Exhale the arm down, either pausing on the knees or sitting into firm pose before we repeat on the other side. And let's take a look at the other side of the pose. When we come into it, we want to have the arm in the same plane as our leg, our leg in the same plane as our chest. But we don't want to lean forward, backward, or rotate, so we don't want to add a twist into the pose. Just keep the chest facing forward. Another point to be aware of is that we want to press down actively through both legs so that they give us this strong lifting sensation. This pose isn't just about the upper body. So whatever part of the foot is touching the floor, we want to actively lengthen up and over to that side. So the underside is invigorated while the outer side opens to receive the stretch. And this pose helps to promote spinal awareness as well as helping us tune into the energy flow in the spine. So Karen can silently affirm, waves of joy surge upward in my spine. And to exit, she can use an inhalation to reach back up. Exhale as she releases the arms. And she can sit back onto her heels or in another comfortable seated position to integrate the effects of this sideways bend. Now, if you find that when you come into the pose, you need to rotate your pelvis quite a bit to the side, and in that case, you also have to rotate your spine, significantly, it might just be more comfortable for you to angle your straight leg toward the front. And then when you come into the pose, just bend directly over to the side. And that is Parigasana, gate pose.